guys, it's Thanksgiving time and we all know there are a few essentials when it comes to Thanksgiving dinner. The turkey, the mashed potato and a delicious stuffing. So today we will make a traditional recipe of the stuffing but we will make it creamier and greener. So for this easy turkey stuffing, we will make our own creamy sauce and we will mix it with some toasted bread and bake it until golden and crispy. The center remains a custody while the top forms a crunchy crust. This dish comes together very easily and quickly and will have your family and friends requesting this year after year. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and if you like this recipe, do give this video a like. Now let's go and make some stuffing. Let's start with toasting our bread. I have taken 12 slices of bread that I've cut into cubes, arrange them in a single layer and bake this in a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can see how the bread has browned and crisped up. This is just the first batch. I'm going to do two more batches this way. While the breads are baking, let's get on to making the sauce. To a saucepan, we will add one and a half tablespoons of butter. Once it melts, I'm going to add one medium onion that I have roughly chopped. Adding some salt to taste. The salt will also help to cook and soften the onion so faster. Now we cook this onion covered for 15 minutes till they are tender and translucent. After 10 minutes, I'm going to add one stalk of celery that I have chopped finely. Give it a mix, cover the pan and continue cooking for another 5 minutes. So it's now been 15 minutes and you can see how the onions have softened really nicely. They're not brown, just translucent. Now let's add half a teaspoon of black pepper and give it a mix. And then we will add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. The flour will help to thicken the sauce. We'll cook this flour for two minutes. You can stuff the stuffing inside the turkey or cook it and cook it or you can serve it on the side making it a turkey stuffing casserole. After 2 minutes, I'm switching off the gas and adding 3 4 cup, that's about 200 ml of heavy cream or cooking cream and 1 1 4 cup of milk. Immediately start mixing it, giving, give it a little mix initially and then switch on the gas. Keep the heat at low and continue mixing so there are no lumps. Now we are going to cook this until the sauce thickens up. Once you see the slightly thick consistency of the sauce, we will add 1 cup of finely chopped spinach and 3 tablespoons of finely chopped parsley. Here I have used flat parsley. Give this all a mix and cook it for 2 minutes till the spinach becomes a little soft. For the creamiest mashed potato with peas and dill recipe, check out our Instagram and Facebook page. Link is in the description. After two minutes, I'm going to add half a cup of chicken broth. Mix, cover and cook for two more minutes. To make this in advance, you can make the cream ahead of time and also toast your bread, but do not bake it. When you want to serve it, you can just mix it all and bake it. So after two minutes, our sauce is ready. We'll then cover this and let it sit till our bread is ready. So two more batches of my toasted bread is ready. I'm going to transfer this to a deep baking dish. And I'm pouring a prepared sauce on top. Mix this all nicely so the sauce goes into and gets covered with every piece of bread. I will also add one egg that I whisked really well. Egg gives some moisture and acts as a binder keeping everything together. So it's not absolutely necessary to add it but it does give an added taste to the whole dish. 
Give it a mix once more. Now we are going to top this with three to four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. This will help to get that extra crispiness on the bread, but it is totally optional. Cover this with a foil and we will bake it for 15 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. After that, we will remove the foil and bake for 10 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius until crispy and golden. After a total baking time of 25 minutes, our stuffing is ready. So you can see how it has got a nice golden color on top and the bread on top is crispy as well. The bread inside is creamy and custardy. This is a great combination of the soft and crispy at the same time, which gives this dish its uniqueness. This also makes for a great leftover, so just cover it with some cling wrap or an aluminium foil and you can refrigerate this for up to two to three days. Hope you like this creamy version of this classic stuffing recipe. Do drop a comment and let us know how much you liked it or did not like it. Have a blissful Thanksgiving and I will see you next time.